Hey everybody, I know you guys are starting to get a Division 2. Uh, a few of you are interested, but it's very overwhelming. I get it. Um, one of the builds I highly recommend putting together is probably one of the easiest builds you could put together. And I run this build constantly uh, by myself, even in Legendary. Legendary is the hardest game mode you could do. It is just incredibly powerful and just <laughs> totally easy. It's just one of the easiest builds. So let's get into it here. So I'm running the technician build. The technician build actually uh, this rocket launcher up here. So you have to go upstairs and you have to progress through it and unlock it and a lot of stuff. But anyways, it has a lot of good talents for a tech build. And then the gear pieces I'm running is for the mask. I'm running a Hannah Yu that gives me uh, additional 10% skill haste. I'm only running one of that. I just want extra skill haste. Skill haste, uh, literally when you're uh, skill like my turret and my drone, um, when they get depleted, you know, you have to wait a cool down to that. And the skill haste is actually speeds that up so you don't have so much of a cool down. So you can pop it back up again and keep fighting. Um, the main pieces I'm running is the Empress International. I'm running a three piece on that one. It's 10% skill health, 10% skill damage, and 10% skill efficiency. And in case you're wondering what skill efficiency is, it's literally skill health, skill damage, everything. There's a few more. I can't think of what it is, but any, all skill combinations into one efficiency. So, I mean, like, it's just an overall really good stat, and I highly recommend it always running this uh, build here. It's just really good. It's just a very fun build. Um, to for a skill base and then um, on my on my chest piece I'm running unbreakable and I highly recommend running unbreakable on a lot of your builds um, for that talent unbreakable is when your armor is depleted it repairs 95% of your armor so that way when I'm getting shot and somebody's just about to down me and they shoot me and the down what normally would happen is I would fall down well actually unbreakable gives me a second chance it fills my armor back up within 95% and the cooldown is only 60 seconds, so as long as I run away and stay away a minute, and then it'll pop back up, and I'm good to go again. So then I can even have another second chance after that. Um, I'm running the the backpack here with skill damage, uh, Wyvern Wear. It gives me an extra additional skill damage. Um, and then the talent is tech support. Skill kills increase total. Skill kills increase total skill damage by 25% for 25 seconds. So what it does is once my turret or drone kills somebody, boom, it's even additional 25%. So, I mean, like, it's just my skills are so OP in this. I do run a Gilligard for additional armor. I just want something that gives me a little bit more armor, 5% extra armor. And then um, I did roll skill damage on there. And then I also have for one of the attributes armor regen, just so if I do get shot and I'm hiding. Because basically you're just hiding the whole time. This way my armor can regen back up. And again, I'm running the turret on here, the salt turret. I'm running the drone. Um, and then let's get into the weapons here. I highly recommend finding the assault rifle called test subject. And what the test subject does is it's called perfectly in sick. So hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for five seconds. So if I shoot them once, just shoot the enemy for five seconds, it boosts my drone and it boosts my turret for 20% of extra skill damage for five seconds. And I know five seconds doesn't sound long, but believe me, in the gunfights in this game, it, it feels like a long time. Using a non-shield skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grant, basically your turret, your drone, grants you your weapon an actual 20% uh, damage for five seconds. So my gun will actually be increased by 20%. And then if I shoot at the same time, damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active. So if my drones and my turret is shooting something, and if I'm shooting something, it doesn't even have to be the same um, uh, NPC, same target, basically. It could be multiple targets. As long as we're shooting at the same time, it actually doubles it. So now we're getting 40% extra damage, So which is just crazy. But, and then I run a shotgun um, just because of close combat. A lot of uh, NPCs like to rush you, and I need something that can hit really hard and very quickly. Um, the ACS-12 is really good. I highly recommend if you can get that one, grind that one out. Uh, two stats on there. I highly recommend always getting on most of your weapons. Um, damage to target out of cover, that's your number one. That's probably the best attribute for damage for your weapons in that. Try and roll that one because it's one of the best ones. The second one would be damage to armor. As you can see, I was able to get both on this one, and I had to roll it on there. Um, the talent is not that good. I don't use this weapon very often, but I would probably roll a different talent on there, by the way. But then here's my favorite piece, is the pistol. And I actually use the pistol the most. And what the pistol does is only 50% damage, but the big one is the skill tier. It actually boosts me up 
uh, one additional skill tier. Skill tier. So if we look over in the left under my name, Tic Tactic X, SHD337, and then you see the red, the blue, and the yellow. So there's a red, that's my offensive mods. It's telling people my blue is my defensive, my yellow is my skill. I'm running five skills, so it's a mainly a skill build. That's what's considered with one defensive because I want that little extra. So what I'm getting at is that this pistol boosts it up instead of five yellow, it puts it in the six yellow. So if we go under my turret here, I'm going to click on it here. Seeing the skill tier here, so skill tier one, I'm all the way down to skill tier six. So extra 120% damage and 420% health. And that's just normal. That's what I'm running. But when I pull out the pistol, I don't even have to do anything. It puts it in the overcharge, which is 175% damage and 560% health. Just by holding the pistol, I don't even have to shoot. And it does that. And then on my pistol, I rolled... Uh, it's not the perfect, remember this one's perfectly in sync because this is a named weapon in that, but I rolled it on this pistol here in sync, so now it has additional 15% skill damage. So all I got again, all I got to shoot is one thing while my drone and my turret are shooting something else, and I get the huge skill bonus. This is just a fun skill build that I use. Now, I'll be honest, this build, this one builds pretty easy to grind. You can put it together, of course, the test subject and the pistol you'll have to grind out. I can't remember how you get the pistol, but it's just really good to know. My main um, one, <laughs> as you can see, Captain America's with shield build, Iron Man's this build that I'm talking about, War Machine's something out, uh, Winter Soldier, I like that. So there's a few cool builds. <laughs> I just named them so I can remember. Anyways, this is my main build that I actually run. Oh, and I can't do it because I'm in uh, the target range. And it, just keep in mind this target range, highly recommend to use. You can test out your stuff, see your DPS, your uh, damage per second, stuff like that. But anyways, I'm going to go over. I'm going to put in my set. This is my normal set that I actually do run. Um, I have a, an exotic shotgun that puts out just a, it's just a crazy little uh, exotic shotgun. And then I actually run a memento backpack, which is honestly not as good as the where was the wyvern backpack is the wyvern backpack with that tech skill gives me 25 percent extra damage i like to run this one only because this exotic backpack gives you 15 percent weapon damage uh, extra armor and skill tier it actually has all three attributes it's one of the only things for an exotic uh thing that actually rolls all three so which is really nice so it just gives me a little extra damage a little extra armor a little extra um skill so, but again, this is just a fun build. I highly recommend putting together. And the best part is, is that most of this, um, you can transfer out. So if you don't want to run the turret, you don't want to run the drone, this would be good for like a hive. This would be good for putting secret mines. So if you wanted to do more of a grenade thing, so you can actually use explosions. And then maybe I would run for attributes and stuff like that uh, for the secret mine. And when I say attributes, let's click on here. See, I have like skill damage, skill haste. If I wanted to be more of explosives, I would want to run um, status effect, I believe. Is there, do I have something in here for status effect? I think I do. Yep, there's one. This is not very good. Oh, look at this piece actually. So it's uh, at 10, for one gear piece, it's 10% status effect. And then I have an attribute, which is at 9.1. So, but I just wanted to show, this is a fun build. Um, don't forget to change your attributes. Um, as you can see, like this chest piece has 8% skill damage and then headshot damage. What are you going to do to headshot damage? I would actually have to switch that out and put a different piece in there. Um, and we can actually do that right now. Why don't I show you how I would do that? So I have skill damage. I have the talent I want, everything like that. Let's go. You could do that right in here. I'm in the White House, by the way, in case you're wondering where the heck I'm at. So like, here's that main lobby. This is that spot where you could change that technician build. But anyways... We're going to run right over to the recalibration center or uh, station. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to recalibrate my chest piece. I go to the chest piece. I go here. And then I want to change that headshot damage. And I'm going to go in here. And I want it to be skill haste. The skill haste would be the most. Otherwise, if I wanted to grenades or stuff like that, then I'd put that status effect on there. So, and then again, you, you, grinding the game, you have to find materials, stuff like that. And it does cost a little bit of money. So, but... The more you play, the more you'll get that stuff. And then voila. So now I have a chest piece that has that skill damage, skill haste, unbreakable. I mean, this is perfect. This is those best, you know, this is the chest piece that I really want 
for this build here. And I do the same thing for all my other stuff. Oops, sorry. Um, and then don't forget about your gear mods. You can actually add a gear mod on here. I like to run protection from elites because I do legendary. That gives me extra defense against the yellow guys, basically. Legend or, um, elites are yellow. So, I mean, like, when you're fighting the enemy, you have a red, you have a blue, and then uh, yellow. And yellow is elites. Um, so, it just gives me extra protection. I like to run that. So, I have a few mods that allows me to boost that up in there. So, I'll put that in there. So, it gives me extra. Otherwise, you could run... You could even run um some tech uh, skills too so i think i even have which would be even more crazy like uh skill hey skill duration i don't think there's one for skill damage no no so so you can put skill haste and skill duration on here that would last a little bit longer duration would be for keeping your turret out longer um of course duration wouldn't be worth the uh, for if you're going to use that uh, secret mine because they're just going to blow up duration would be useless for that so this is, like I said, this is like a fun build. Again, this is my main build because, of course, I've been grinding it, so I have a little bit more. But I just want to show, see my attributes. I've grinded this up. So skill damage, skill haste, protection from elites. Same thing here. Skill damage, and I even have armor regen on this one because I just wanted a little extra armor regen. Protection from elites. And then again, skill damage, skill damage, skill haste. See, I, I'm rolling that stuff. Skill haste, skill damage. So I'm not wasting those attributes. And again, this is all when you get into level 40. I highly recommend when you get into level 40, you can actually put some fun builds together and you can keep it that way. And you can just grind it down. And I'm like, oh, I need that one piece and stuff like that. And again, in case you're wondering, once you unlock level 40 and you come back into DC area after you do the New York area, um, by tapping, going in the map here and tapping D-pad up, see that has all these little gears, shows these little emblems, stuff like that. This is where you're going to find all your unique items so that you want to grind. And what it does is like, let's say if I did this mission, what it does is it's it's going to have a higher chance of dropping this kind of gear set. Or if I wanted to be in this area, where's uh, in this area, see how it has a marksman rifle here. So in this area, it would be, uh, has a higher chance dropping marksman rifles, stuff like that. Same thing over here, look at shotgun emblems. So if I did, um, like uh, control points and uh, what's this one? Territory control, public execution. The public executions are probably the easiest and fastest things you can do, which I highly recommend grinding. So again, that's kind of how it is. And then, yeah. So I just wanted to give you a fun little overall uh, build that can actually help you out. So I hope this video kind of answers some of that questions today. So thanks.